All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy B Bullet RC coming at you guys again with yet another video. And listen, man, the weekend is now over, so you know what time it is. It's time to get into this week's heat or hype where we get into the latest sneaker releases, sneaker rumors, or anything I want to talk about in the sneaker or streetwear world. That is what we do here today. And remember, if I don't talk about a shoe, either I forgot about it didn't edit it in or it was just that by so that i did not want to expose y'all to it but this week again we got the viewer's choice, the viewer's choice pick for the Basu of the Week, a shoe that popped up all over the place, had a lot of people talking about a lot of buzz, and um, there is a catch to it, so we'll get to the Basu in a few. You already know how we do, and of course, I'm exposed you too. Now, a brand new release reminder, we actually got new flannels dropping on Sample Industries. Blam, you already see one on me right now. The lookbook, by the time you guys see this video, will be live, and I will link it down below. I went outside and took a couple flicks in it, just so y'all can see the fit. I mean, y'all can see the materials if I get close up. Y'all see the corduroy, y'all see the embroidery, y'all already know how we do. I mean, you peep the shoulder too, okay. Y'all know how we do. So we'll be dropping two Polar Tech Corduroy flannels on Saturday as well as this hat. This was previously just a sample. You guys probably see me wear it all the time, but we did go ahead and make some more so you guys can cop if you want to. Again, the link will be down below and everything will be releasing this Saturday the 19th at 8 p.m. EST. Now with the new drop out of the way, of course, this week we got new leaks. New rumors, a ton of ish to talk about, and of course, like I mentioned before, the Basuda. Listen, y'all already waited long enough. I was supposed to drop this video yesterday, but some things got in the way. So let's not waste any more time. Make sure you drop a like on this bit. Sub up if you haven't already. What are you doing? And make sure you finesse the bell as well. Let's get into this week's heat or hype. <laughs> All right, so first up on this week's list, you do have a second chance to get that delayed dub on the Stussy Air Force One. Now, as you guys know, over this past week, we did get both the Fossil and the Black colorway that released on Stussy.com. Now, the problem was that the capture was broke for the first like five to eight minutes. Once you got through to the capture, they did ask what color was an orange, so they used that union tactic, which I like. I think that's a good way for people to do their online releases. Keep doing that. Just don't repeat that question anymore because I don't want the boss to get, you know, locked into that one question. All right, we gotta switch up the questions. Now I had both shoes up on my PC, my Surface, my phone. I did not get through on one pair on Stussy, but they are releasing again, at least the black pair. The fossils are not. The black ones are dropping on Nike sneakers on December 15th. So I guess tomorrow or in a day or two, these will be dropping. So good luck if you are going for them. And again, I will be going for that black pair for sure. Another release dropping this week, we have the Hyper Royal Air Jordan 13. These are gonna be dropping on the 19th. For that regular retail of 190, I'm gonna keep it a buck as always. I'm not really hyped about this pair. I'm not gonna be going on my phone Nike sneakers to get them. This is just not a 13 colorway that I really want. So if you can't tell, yes, this will be a pass for me, but I believe this is a playoff of an old P colorway of the Air Jordan 13, which is cool, but for me, uh, I'm good. Another release happening tomorrow, we have Adidas and Pharrell with another pair of human races with the Korean on the top. And I believe this is a brown colorway, not the burgundy, or maybe it's burgundy. It's burgundy or brown, and you can actually go ahead and enter in on these or enter in the raffle on the Adidas confirmed app. So if you're watching this when the video drop, I mean, which you should because you should have finessed the bell. Yeah, you can go ahead and enter in. If you are watching this tomorrow or in a couple days, yeah, sorry, it's too late. But these are gonna be retailing for that still 220. This is not one of my favorite colorways of the human race NMD, and this will be a pass. Now, a new leak we got this week is that there is gonna be a Babe and Reebok collab on the club. See, as you guys can see, Right here, it's an all white leather, and then you have that Babes of Star in different camo colors on the side. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but these look a little, like the shape, the way the toe box is, this is an official pair, but the way the toe box is, it just looks a little bit bigger than a regular Club C. I don't know, the shape, the silhouette looks a little bit off on these to me. Maybe it's just because they took off all the side panels just for that Babes to start. I wish they would have kept some of those side panel details. Maybe this shoe would have looked a little bit better for me. But for someone who likes just the regular Club C, I mean, it's not a bad collab, it's not a bad shoe, but something about them, something about the shoe just 
just seems off to me. And since this is a new leak, there is no release date on this babe Reebok Club C just yet. For the next one, we actually got some in-hand photos of the 2021 pair of AJKOs, of course, in that Chicago colorway. And the last time these came out, they kind of sat around. I'm, I'm pretty sure these hit outlets. But this time, people want Chicago's, and I feel like the AJKO, it is close enough. I feel like people are going to go ahead and copy these. I think these will sell out. The AJKO has always kind of been a weird shoe next to the Air Jordan 1. Some people have dug them. Some people really haven't been a fan. For me, you know, personally, I haven't been the biggest fan of the AJKO. And luckily, Slight Flex, I already have a pair of Chicago, so I probably won't be going for these, but it is a cool option for those who don't have Chicago's to get them. But we will be talking about another Air Jordan 1 with some Chicago Slight affiliation later but for right now yeah that's all we got new in-hand photos hkos next year another 2021 leak this time dropping in april is a brand new pair of yeezy 500s and this one is being called the in flam colorway seems to be like a very very light peach pinkish color and now that i think about it I, I don't know when's the last time we got a new colorway of 500s i feel like they just been going so hard with the 350 v2 um the last time or the last 500 we got was the restock but that wasn't of course a new colorway it was just a utility blast coming back to me from this mock-up because remember it could look somewhat different to this from this picture right here it definitely looks like more of a small feet woman's release in my opinion at least but we just don't have a lot of info on these 500s yet so i'm pretty interested to see how these do if they do drop next year in april we also got some brand new photos of the air jordan one high switch now this is the purple pulse color the white and gray with the yellow is definitely the better colorway in my opinion but right here you can actually see the shoe unzipped and zipped for the high and the low i guess you would say configuration silhouette of the shoe and i still feel the same way i think this is a good idea depending on the colorway i think the gray and white i think that colorway will sell out now this purple pulse one uh, i don't know but being able to take your air drone one high and turn it into lows if you want to do that in like the summer months I, I feel like that's a good idea it's a good concept and i think it's a good shoe in my opinion again Pro Pulse colorway, not my favorite, but I am looking forward to trying out a pair of these Switch Air Drone ones. Y'all let me know down below if y'all feeling these or not. Another shoe that came out of nowhere this week was a new pair of NMD R1s, and y'all can see them right here. Now, I was looking to see if this was some type of human race shoe, but it just seems to be a regular NMD with no type of human race affiliation. And I, I gotta say it, bruh, it feels very diet human race. One of the best colorways that ever dropped the original, if I'm not mistaken, was the yellow, black, and white human race NMDs. It ain't the OG. It's close. They close. You know what I mean? You walk and somebody might see them and think for a second, but yeah, these, these not it, man. I'm sorry. Now we got another pair of Yeezys on this week's list, and they did drop overseas. I don't think these dropped in the U.S. yet. And this is another 380 colorway. I believe it is the Azure colorway. I could be saying that a little bit wrong. And they are killing the 380 right now with these colorways. They're just too many weird shitty colorways of the 380 i think the shoe itself is a good shoe it's very comfy it's a good silhouette it's a good looking shoe but they are clapping this joint with trash ass colorways man i almost feel bad for the 380 because they put every bad colorway they could think of on this shoe release at the release at the release and unfortunately this will be another 380 that i pass on but we actually have a pair of 350s this week that i would probably cop i actually think they're pretty clean and they're tan but we'll be getting to that another 2021 release we have the valentine's day air force one simple clean with the hard detailing on them i think these are pretty hard now on the upper edge you guys can see it's a pretty basic white air force one the leather does look a little bit better than any you know regular joint that you would buy you know probably like right now now since this is the valentine's day pair for next year in 2021 i would assume that they're gonna be dropping either on valentine's day or somewhere around there and although these aren't the strange loves i feel like people will cop these um as a constellation prize for sure it's just another good air force one that's all I gotta say. Now the next pair of forces, I'm gonna keep the same exact energy I had for the other pair. And this should be a Supreme Air Force One and a Flats colorway dropping next year in fall of 2021. Now this is a rumor, this is a leak, it could not happen. But again, 
do not go out here and spend resale on a pair of Air Force Ones with a small, small Supreme box logo on them. Just go to the store and cop a pair of flaxes. Go to the store and cop a regular pair of all whites. If you get them for retail, cool, but do not be out here spending resale on Supreme Forces. I have told y'all, I have told y'all, I have told y'all, do not do it. It's just a small box logo, bro. Relax. Another collab that we saw this week that got leaked was this Clot Air Jordan 14. And the materials look good, the colorway is good, but the shoe itself, I, I don't know on that one yet. But the side panel that design is actually inspired by some type of armor. I'm forgetting which type of armor it is right off the top of my head right now. But yeah, that 14 that we were speculating about earlier this year that was gonna be, I think they're gonna retail for about 220, is in fact this new collab between Clot and Jordan. And I will say that I definitely like this 14 over the Air Jordan 13 that they did last year, I think. Last week we talked about that Bait Japan and Nike collab on the Air Force One, the Wagyu inspired pair. And now we are getting that build a force but you know it's not a collab it's a regular pair now they're gonna be dropping on the 17th i believe in men's and grade school sizing i believe men's is gonna retail for 140 i'm not sure on grade school but yes it is a build a force it is an all over velcro pair of air force ones you get all the panels and stuff on a velcro like patch or something i'm assuming and it allows you to customize the air force one however you like and in my opinion it is a fire idea it's a fire concept it takes the interchangeable swoosh and just turns that into the entire shoe so another new take another new innovation on an old silhouette just like the air drone one switch but this time it's on the forces we also got some brand new official photos of that titan 22 air drone 23 and I am happy to see some good pairs of number Air Jordans and those higher numbers coming back. I am still waiting on the all over Red Suede 21. So if someone from JB is watching, yes, the, the Red Suede 21s, hey, I, I'll take a pair of those. But yes, these 23s will be dropping as far as an exact release date, we don't have it. But since we have these official photos, I'm assuming within the next month or two months, maybe January, we'll be getting the full release of this shoe. Another brand new leak we got this week is this metallic gold and barely rose pair of Air Jordan 6s. And it seems that they're blending some of those DMP aspects into this one. Now from the colorway, the color blocking, I'm gonna assume that this is gonna be a women's Small Feet Gang release. So Small Feet Gang out there, y'all can go ahead and chime in and let me know what y'all are thinking about these down below. These won't be dropping until next year in 2021. I think the date is somewhere in March or April. Now the next year we're about to talk about is Fire. And this is a brand new pair of Air Drone One Lows for Chinese New Year in 2021. This is gonna be the year of the ox. And as y'all can see in right here, they did go ahead and do a bread silk colorway with a ton of little ornate details in them. They come with like this little tassel on them as well. These, a hey, these are fire. And although for the last couple of years we've been getting some eh, okay Chinese New Year releases, this one right here, I can say it now, these will be selling out for sure. We got more official photos this week of the brand new, or one's new, one's kind of old, undefeated Air Max 97. And y'all can see both colorways right here. The Militia Green ones, which were a complex kind of exclusive, as well as this black and vault colorway. They pulled these Militia Greens out of nowhere. This was a shoe that I wish I had got back when I had the chance at Cobbless Con. I could have easily got them on the second day, but instead I think I went to try to get the black NERD Human Races, which that was just not a good decision on my part because I could have got the green pair pretty easily. Now both colorways are gonna retail for 180, but there is no release date on these joints yet. If you missed out on the first time, here is your second chance, so good luck. Now before we go ahead and get into that Basu Basuda of the week. We're going to get into the light version of Basuda for the week. And this first one is a brand new pair of Air Zoom types. Did and this, this colorway right here is the light mahogany colorway. And I put them on light Basuda because I feel like the base shoe isn't horrible. Is it something I would buy? No. But why do they have to go ahead and put the mop top, the furry mop on the top of the shoe with the jewels on it? It's just why why did you put that extra piece up there these are giving me like bleach grinch vibes on the top i don't know this one just is not it now the next one we got is one that people pretty heavily sent to me and i was kind of hesitant to throw it up but here it is for 595 dollars 
we have the Skull Somebody did this. from Pierre Moss. This is a Pierre Moss sneaker. We've seen some of their collabs, and a lot of y'all send me their collabs as well. And is the shoe ugly? Yes. Is the shoe Basura? Yes. But I have seen these on feet. I think I've seen like Wale in a fit pick with them. And I think they actually look pretty dope on feet. So in defense of this shoe right here, I have seen them on feet and I think they look good on feet. But in pictures without the right fit, they just, they just don't look as good. So as far as this sculpt shoe, we just gonna leave it at that. Y'all can give me three words down below to describe these. And now it's time to get into the official Basuda of the week. Okay, so this is another one that a ton of y'all sent me. And luckily this shoe is just a you know, like mock-up, a rendering. A lot of people were just calling it the Yeezy 400. That's what everyone was kind of, you know, naming it. But I think this is just something that someone created, someone designed, they tossed it up and people just took it however they took it. And I'm pretty sure I've seen this in the Basuda Boys section of the Discord. Yes, we do have our own Discord. The link is down below if y'all wanna hop in. And I think I forgot to say it before, but again, Blank, did these this. shits right here look like armadillos for the toes, bro. Obviously this shoe is a playoff of the dumpling Yeezy 451 that we've seen some samples of, we've seen Kanye wearing, and this is another kind of version of that shoe, but yeah, nah, nah, these is not it, bro. These joints is just big, bulky Yeezy prototypes, and I don't know, man. Again, y'all can give me three words to describe the armadillo Yeezy 400s, Yeezy 400s down below in the comments. But as far as the Basuda of the week goes with the light sprinkling and the official Basuda, that is it. So we can go ahead and get these shits off my screen, bruh. Now this next one I saved for the end because I thought it might surprise y'all. And it is a brand new pair of Yeezy 350 V2s. And it is these joints right here, which is this Ash Pearl colorway. And these are going to be dropping next year in 2021. And it is indeed another tan-ish Yeezy 350, but I gotta say, this is one of the better, or I would say best, new colorways in the shoe, for sure, hands down. The sole looks good, the uppers with the mixture of colors and textures from the prime knit looks good. This is just a good looking pair of 350 V2s, and I can't hate on them at all. It's more tan, but this time it's good tan, good Yeezys. This was another fresh leak for this week, so no release date just yet, but retail should still be that regular 220. This week, as you all should know, Kid Cudi released Man on the Moon 3, and I have been listening to it and listening to it and listening to it. I said it on my phone last night, just fell asleep and the album just played throughout the night. I've been listening to the new album Heavy and my favorite track so far is of course She Knows This and then Dive right after. And I've been kind of replaying those songs a lot so I gotta give the rest of the album some more play. Kid Cudi would probably be one of my top five artists personally so uh, I was definitely excited for the album. Now some other Kid Cudi news we got is that he is releasing a shoe on December 17th, his own signature shoe with Adidas and this is the Veda Wom. I'm assuming that it's the Vadawam, like a play off of Padawan from Star Wars, but the Vadawam 326. And when I first seen this shoe, I was honestly not a big fan. And I'm still not the biggest fan of the white pair. I think the black one definitely looks better. Now, if you guys watch the She Knows This video, he actually has the black pair on his feet and they look a lot better on Kid Cudi while he's wearing them in the video. The shoe definitely looks better on feet with some you know, nice denim, some nice pants, rather than just kind of these photos right here. So right now I am 50-50 on Kid Cudi's new shoe. More than likely, I will still try to at least cop one pair, probably the black one just to support Cuddy and I do want to actually put them on my own feet look at them in hand and give you guys my final thoughts this week we also got some more info on the lightning air Jordan 4 a shoe that has been speculated to come out for the last I feel like three or four years now but the new info on these is that they should be retailing at a 220 price point instead of 190 so I'm hoping with that higher price point maybe we get some special packaging a special box some better materials than you know regular JB stuff but right now we just don't know so it is seeming more and more likely that yes the lightning force will finally be returning next year in 2021 but again, I will not hold my breath. Another shoe we got some updates or some more info on this week was that all-star pair of Air Jordan 1s, the Trophy Room Air Jordan 1, and we just got some on-feet photos. And again, these are out of here. I definitely want a pair. This shoe is just fire, and I told y'all we were gonna be talking about a Chicago 
S sneaker and this is the one I was talking about earlier. Now there were some tweets sent out about this shoe so I'm assuming that it will be landing for All-Star Weekend next year in February. Probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest release of the month. And then last up, out of nowhere, I'm assuming that there's gonna be a shock drop sometime this month, maybe next month, but a shock drop is definitely gonna be on the way. The Carmine Air Jordan 6s are gonna be dropping and confirmed to be dropping on February 13th of 2021. This is actually gonna be the first time the Carmine 6s come back with the Nike Air on the back, and they are another All-Star Weekend release and these are selling out, these are out of here, and I definitely, definitely am gonna be getting a pair of these Carmines for sure. Now, I just talked about a possible shock drop, and the reason I think there will be a shock drop is because I feel like this is the earliest that we've seen a shoe pop up on sneakers before release. We're only in December, not even into January, and they're already showing off the Carmines dropping in February of next year. So I don't know when it could happen. If it does happen, be looking out. I feel like the shock drop is gonna be on the way. We had had speculation before, but thank you Nike for going ahead and clearing that up. And now we know them car mines are on the way next year. But listen, man, that is all the news for this week. Make sure you drop a like on this bit and let me know that you cop anything this week down below in the comments or if you save all the money in the pockets. Remember, that is always a good option. Also, Sample Industries drop this Saturday, 8 p.m. EST. New flannels, new hat. But with all that being said, man, let's go ahead and get up out of here. Much love to all the fam followers and of course supporters you guys will follow me on instagram twitter soundcloud twitch the twitch is bullet rc by the way and we are live right now if you are watching this video right when it dropped come through to the twitch the link is down below and say what's good here there blase blada of course my shoes are back there or somewhere around here so bullet rc and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video time for me to go edit hope y'all enjoyed the vid much love peace if you come here and try to take some, there's a lot more where that came from, and it really ain't no thing. I got some up here in this thing. I just dropped the jig in my Red Bull, and it really gave me wings. Yeah, yeah, up and away. Y'all should have seen this shit coming in May.